the students uh, in the publicity to promote the school. So Belinda, will you just come and tell us what you're doing there? Following on from Anne's presentation this morning, you heard about Evelyn Chan, um, last year's Rhodes Scholar, Victorian Rhodes Scholar. So I've been using Ed's space in some of our advertising and we found that it has worked. I'm sure many Victorian schools are advertising, are advertising and choosing a school for your child. There's probably a number of independent publications, school publications that you can be in. And generally, if you flip through the pages, I've noticed obviously they're all photos of students. And yes, that's what we are, we're a school, but we have found the feedback we've been, it was so nice to turn through. And I guess it was quite different and it popped out on the page to see someone not a school student. So we used Ed's story to promote the school. Um, she actually came into our school on a scholarship and constantly says she wouldn't be where she is today without coming to Campbell Girls Grammar School. Beautiful. So we used her face, her message, um, and it's something we trialled this year. You know, we, we survey everyone who comes into the school and we have had people say, you know, what's your at about the road scholar. So obviously that's one way we're using past students. Just to tap on some of the things that come out of our development office, we do mentoring breakfasts and they're actually run by former students. And um, the year 10 girls come in four times a year into this hall, they have a breakfast and the panel is made up of um, our former students and they're basically there to mentor girls, they're from a variety of industries, they can ask questions, things like that. And touched on, we bring past students into school assemblies um, throughout the year. We generally have one, if not two, per month across a variety of industries. Last, I think about three weeks ago, we had one of a fashion designer come back in. So it's not all about Campbell producers, doctors, scientists, lawyers. We really try and put out there if, if you can, you know, leave school and go and do anything. Um, we've got a current student. She finished in 2008, and she's now on home and away. She started earlier this year. So we're looking at bringing her back in because the current students are familiar with her. She was always now musical. Some of the other things that we do is um, when A and 12 girls go into their VCE exams towards the end of the year, we have um, past students write in letters of encouragement. It's a program that we run. So each student receives a letter from a former student, you know, saying you can get through it. This is what we did. Here's some tips. Um, so there's a number of things that that we do. This actual hall was the original school hall on the site. And we found when we were holding reunions in the main um, Barbara Sutton Hall, the past students would come back and all they wanted to do was see this hall, their old hall. We converted this last year to a space that can be used for conferences, can be used for functions, and attendance at reunions has gone through the roof because people know they're coming back to the old hall, they want to see what it looked like. So um, we, we hold about 15 reunions a year. We do have an old Americans association. And they really have an active presence in the school community at every event at our school open day. If, the old parents, um, if they're not running barbecue, they're running Devonshire tea. Um, they receive all of our publications, including the newsletter. We very much keep in contact with them from when they leave school so that they, they're always involved, they're always at the school productions, school musicals. Um, it's just one thing that we, we try to do constantly. Do you use that word alumni? Uh, with the older, old grammarians? Our older, old grammarians, they love being called the old girls, in the group that are in their 80s, but yes. um, we have, we, so we still do sit to the old grammarians association, but we actually refer to the girls as alumni. Yes. Alumni, A-E, you use me now. Yeah. Alright.